Hey everybody. So, I am coming to do a video. It is your questions answered. So these are the questions that I am gonna answer on tonight. Um I am in my pajamas. It is eight twelve and I'm going to bed at nine o'clock because I've been trying to get up earlier and um, go to the gym and work out. Um, but tomorrow, my boy, all three of my boys have a doctor's appointment. So that'll be taking up a lot of my time. And I have a doctor's appointment. So I'm still going to fit the gym in there somewhere. So I want to answer some previous videos I was going through. So a lot of people look at my surclage videos way after, you know, my pregnancy or whatever, and I still get a lot of questions about my surclash, um, and I've tried to answer them all individually, but I realized that they're probably not the only ones who have these questions, so um, I decided that I might as well do um, videos about the questions that I'm answering so that I'll be able to benefit everybody. Um, so that's where the um, your questions answer videos come from. So I'm just gonna get into this so it doesn't the video doesn't get too long. So the first question, excuse me, and I'm really stuffy. So the first question is, did I have funneling problems with my surclash? Um, this question is from Samantha. I don't remember Samantha's um, like YouTube name, but she signed it Samantha. So Samantha, did I have funneling problems? Um, not with my third pregnancy, no, I did not. With my second pregnancy, slightly. Um, it wasn't anything major. It wasn't anything that I was concerned about. Um, I had so many other issues with my pregnancy that I don't even remember a whole lot of details when it came to funneling. But I do remember on one of my many trips to the emergency room that when I got the um, ultrasound done, that it was like, oh, you're funneling. And I was like, okay. Um, and no one ever really explained it in great detail as far as what that meant. Um, I do remember going back to my appointment and asking my doctor, hey, what does funneling mean? And, you know, he did a double look over um, and he said, you know, that's really not something that you need to be concerned about. And if he left it at that because, um, you know, I took his word for it. Uh, because I trusted my doctor, and he's been my doctor for all through my pregnancies, and my boys have made it safely. But um, when you do so much Googling and searching and trying to self-diagnose yourself, you end up stressing yourself more, more out because Google only tells you the very, very, very worst version of what could possibly be going on. And, you know, and it may not even be your case. So I did funnel, but... It had nothing to do with my surclash, um, and, you know, I want to say it just went away on its own. So that's that question. Um, did I have any discomfort with my surclash? I personally, no, I did not. Um, I don't even, of course, you know, you're not supposed to have sex when you have a surclash. So I didn't play around with, you know, anything going in my vagina when I had my surclash. So um, I did, I followed the rules, did what I was supposed to do when it came to being on bed rest and things like that. When my, when my surclash went in, it went in and I didn't remember that it was there. I didn't feel anything. I didn't have any stabbing pains. I didn't have any discomfort. A lot of times, um, if you were experiencing some discomfort and some pain, with your surclash, I would just, you know, bring it up at your next doctor's appointment and ask them just to take a look at it, look at it and make sure that it hasn't moved or um, lodged itself up in your uterus some type of way. But um, if there is some pain and discomfort, it may not be from the surclash itself. It may just be that, you know, after you have a surgery, you are very sore, you're very, um, you have the natural pains and discomforts that will go away, go away within two or three days. So that is the pain that I experienced, just the discomforts after surgery, you know, spotting and 
um, cramping and things like that because when they put the surclage in, they clamp your uterus down to keep it from contracting. Um, and when they re and they numb it, and so when they release it, and all that numbing medication wears off, you're gonna feel the effects of that. But that shouldn't last no more than two or three days. Anything beyond that, then you definitely need to have a conversation with your OBGYN. So, okay, my next question is: Did my surclage feel weird, like a tampon or bubbly? Um, this person said they're not bleeding and they don't have any cramps. Again. I didn't have any discomforts with my surclage. Um, when it was in, it was in. I didn't feel it. The discomforts that I had were normal pregnancy things. And if this is your first pregnancy, then you may not understand what it means um, to have normal pregnancy discomforts. But, you know, they do exist. And it's not no walking apart. But when it came to my surclage, I didn't have any pain or discomfort with that. Um, I blame it on my doctor. He was just really great at that. So, very last question. Um, what is 17P shot? So, 17P is progesterone. Um, you start getting those every week if your doctor suggests it. You will get those every week starting at 16 weeks. Um, I think 16 weeks. You will get them every single week and it is in your behind, your buttocks, like the upper part. Um, of it, not the real meaty part, which I wish, and it wouldn't hurt so bad. It is not pleasant. It does hurt a little bit. Um, I absolutely hated getting my shots because it steams going in, and the nurse that you get to do it makes a difference because there was one particular nurse, she couldn't do my shots. I don't care. She couldn't do my shots. I would ask the nurse that I always did mine, her name was Karen, and I go in and I say, Karen is doing my shot today. Or either it was another girl, and I call it a little country girl. It was going to be one of those two that was going to be doing my shots. Because everybody else, they made it hurt so bad. And it doesn't, the real pain comes in at the end. Uh, like when you go to your car and you get ready to sit down, and your behind is burning, it's not no good feeling. So, um, it is from progesterone. So what the progesterone does is to prevent you from going into preterm labor. So it's to prevent you from having contractions, um, which would in turn open up your uterus and, you know, start the whole labor process. So progesterone tries to prevent you from doing it. It is not 100% foolproof. That's why most people couple it with a surclage. But I do have friends who did only get the 17 P shots. Um, I have a, a very close friend and then a, another lady that I met who was, had, also had a preemie. Again, they only got 17 P shots when it came to their second um, and third pregnancy. So, um, it is something that you feel like you didn't have inco incompetent service, but you were definitely experiencing um, preterm labor. You might want to talk to your doctor about it and ask if your option, if, if that's an option for you. Um, but I did get 17 P with my second and my third pregnancies. Um, you get them all the way up until 36 weeks, I believe, 36 or 37. It depends on your doctor. Um, with Jaren, I got them up to 37. With Caleb, I got them up to 36 weeks. Um, and they will alternate which butt cheek you get in there every week. So, you know, you get it on the left this week, you get it on the right next week. So, um, those are those questions. I don't have any more. I may have overlooked some. I try to get them all, but um, these are the ones that were most recent. Um, so if you have any questions about pregnancy or parenting or um, the such, just let me know, um, and I'll be sure to answer those questions for you. Thank you, and have a good night. Also, check out my blog. Uh, I'll leave it down here. I haven't finished updating it, so um, I might not leave it on the, the the link down because I need to finish up my logo and stuff. But it's mamasmeltingpot.com, um, and I am also on Instagram as Majestic Mom. So check me out on Instagram, Majestic Mom. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.